Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation, uh, back again with uh, part two of this process of making a uh, weather map e-chart from the maps we download. And in the last video, I'll put the links to all of these in the description of the video. In the last video, we took that image. Uh, this is the latest uh, surface analysis map of the Eastern Pacific. And we used this program, MapCal, to create this, uh, this uh, file here. Uh, they call it chart dir, chart calder. That's, uh, that's a step two. That's all made by MapCal. Now we're moving on and using another utility. We're going to use this utility just to create a proper header that can then be used by this program. So we're going to use this program. Now that's an executable, but you can't just double click it. These things have to be run from a command, from a command line. So I have to go down here and do uh, type here CMD, get a command prompt that way, and there I have a command prompt. Now I've got the folder we're using on the desktop, so I CD uh, desktop. Enter. Then I have to CD the the folder I'm using PYBA90. Enter. Now there's the stuff we were looking at. That's a chart cal, and and this one we're going to use now. So you could just type MC. That's a map cal to BSB. That's the format we're after. BSB. And this thing just makes a header. Now if you wanted to, you could just hit enter here and that gives you the instructions and um, I haven't experimented with giving it a new output name um, but um, we can just rename it we have to the file header has to end uh, has a this program will create the file with a head with an extension HDR but when we go to use image cap up here, it wants the header to end in .kap. So we'll just make it and change it. So there's the program. Uh, I type that in, and now I type in what here? Uh, oh, chart cal. C H A R T chart cal. And then enter. That's it. Now, see that created this file up here. If I, um, if we go up here and look, uh, that's now this file right here, the one it just made. So I'm just going to go in here and give this a name. I'm going to name it so I know it. A, uh, say underscore HDR, and then dot cap. That's a just. I'm just renaming that file. KAP. Okay, so that's good to go. Yes, we want to change that. So now I'm back here and we're ready to run this program, ImageCap. And ImageCap, I M G K A P. Uh, I don't really need that executable, K A P. ImageCap, type that in. Then I put the name of the picture, which is P Y B A. 90.png and then I put the name of the header file which we have called um, PYBA90 underscore HDR dot KAP and then we'll make the output go to I think the output will just go to the right name anyway let's just go yeah I must have okay so now we're back here and we have this is our map right here so I'm going to uh, pause here for one minute and double check that this will, but that's it that we just made the map that's the guy and I'm gonna pause the video for a minute double check that this works and then come back okay I'm back now what I did was just loaded this into a couple programs just to be sure that it worked because uh, sometimes it takes a while to, for the files to get uh, loaded properly turns out it didn't take any time at all but um, but let's just first show uh, let's see if this open cap oh that's open I did it open so there's the map loaded into open captain uh, that we just made uh, as you watched 
and the way you load them into Open Captain is you just go here to Charts, and then I just deleted everything out of here to make it simpler, and then here's the desktop, and there's the file we just did. And so that's the chart there. Now you'll know, and you can do things once you have this here. You can go measure like the distance between now, uh, way like here and so forth. You can measure those distances uh, and so forth. One of the uh, things when working with this open captain is if you let's see if you zoom down. Well, it actually works. It seems to be working pretty well here. Sometimes it likes to have the bottom of the chart showing. If all of a sudden it doesn't show, but that somehow is now showing well. If you ever have trouble showing any chart, not just this chart, then just be sure that at least the bottom is showing down here. But there's the chart. You see what it says? 1 to 50, 000, 50 million. Depth unknown, soundings unknown. Okay, so that works. That's pretty straightforward. Now later we have to come back and show what we, you know, this is one thing we can do. We can measure distances between these points and do various other things. But the main thing we want to do later is overlay uh, grid files on this, and that's going to be another presentation. So I'll just close that. And now let's just see. Here's Expedition. And it loads in Expedition 2. I'm not quite sure why it's blue, and I can't quite get the uh, yet get the um, base map showing, but I'll get that sorted out later. But And also, here's the main point that we're coming back to. This program, Expedition, has an absolutely wonderful service that it will do. You don't have to do any of that map making, and I'm going to come back later and show that. You just, in one minute, you can download an image and have it be showing here, and it'll look a lot nicer than this. So this is just showing that that cap file will indeed load in other programs and be geo-referenced and so on. And that's the, uh, what I'm going to show for now.